Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see the process of relaxing, applying of relaxer. First of all, I've already done the gowning, put the towel, held it with a butterfly clip. After that, I'm checking the condition of the scalp and the hair. You take in different part of the, uh, the head. I look at the scalp to check if there could be any contraindication. Contraindication, as I've already told you earlier, is the process whereby you stop the service, which may prevent you from continuing the uh, process uh, relaxer service. You can see the, the, the scalp is uh, normal. I look at the other side, different part of the hair, and the check at the side also. Then afterwards, I look at this, the, 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 the condition of the hair. It's okay. However, as we can see, the hair had a color previously colored part. So when I will be doing my basing, I have to cover the colored part to avoid any contamination with the relaxer. Because chemical, color is a chemical and relaxer is a chemical. Whereby if they mix two colors on the hair same strand, it may, the hair may start falling off. After that, I'm going to make sure that the old head, the old hair is uh, detangled. I'm using my detangling comb, starting from the back. You start from the ends coming to the root. Any measures? During the time you're doing the detangling, you ensure that the hair is straight. Because if you start application when the hair is tangled, it will not it will make your hair or your work not become easier. And also managing the detangled hair could not, even the processing, the penetration of the relaxer will not be easier. Since most of the parts will be having a dark spots. Ensure you don't scratch the scalp. During the process of uh, checking the hair and the scalp, you need to ask the client, when was the last time she shampooed her hair? You are advised not to conduct a relaxer services if the hair was relaxed two days back, one day back. Then after that, I'm going to section my hair using the tail comb. I'm going to do a three section. Now I'm now doing the second parting. The second parting, I'm going to hold this side. And every section, the reason why I'm sectioning the hair is to make it easier to manage it during processing, during the application. I hold it with a sectioning clip. You can also do the four part sectioning. How can you do the four part sectioning? You remove the tail slip. After you have done the back part, you put the second part, you do the parting. You hold this one with the clip. It is now one part, one, two, three, four. Another way of doing the four section part is can be done in this way. Oh, this one is another way of a four part sectioning. So it's one, two, three, four. But when I'm starting to apply, I will start from the crown here, going to the nap line. Now I am going to protect the scalp using the basing cream. The main reason why I'm using the basing cream is to protect the scalp and the hairline. In this process, I'm using my bare hand. You should always ensure that the clan comfortability is maintained. So you are the one to move. You apply in the back of the ear. 
the reason I'm applying the uh, basic cream on the part, this part because they will get contact with the relaxer and they may start irritating. You are the one to move, not to move the head of the client in order to ensure that the client comfortability is maintained at all times. Also, as I said, you protect the colored part. You can either use the gel or cream pomade. After ensuring that I've done their basing, I have to make sure that also my hands are having some cream pomade. The reason being is that it helps in case of the tearing off of the glove, my hands will also still be in a safe place. Now I'm putting, I just, I want to start the relaxer and I already selected the strength of relaxer I'm going to use, which is regular because the hair, the normal, the hair is normal. Now I'm putting my gloves. The reason why I'm using the rubber gloves, they fit well, they are not very loose. So it is really comfortable the way it is. You can see the way it is it's holding my hands. In case the gloves are so squeezed, don't put in your mouth as a health and safety measure. Just blow. Mm. And it will be okay. Put in your hands. Don't force it. Just let it do it in a uh, light manner. Now I'm, I'm starting to, I'm applying my relaxer. I have to reconfirm again that is regular. This is written regular. And also I have to confirm the expiry date, which is under the our health and safety measures. You have to check, is it, when was it manufactured and the expiry date is normally it can either at the bottom of the container or wherever it is written. Now I open, I've already confirmed. I'm opening it and just scooping the right amount I'm going to use. Before I scoop, I just make sure I put like this. Then I put the amount in my tin mixing tin tin bowl. Why am I do, doing this? This is to avoid contaminating the whole amount of product in a container. I can do this using a spatula, a wooden spatula, or my brush. But I should, you are advised not to use any metal in this process, because it may start con con reacting. Now I'm starting to apply my relaxer. When I'm starting to apply my relaxer, I have to put the client a bit, bend a bit, then I remove this. I start from the crown coming to the nape line. And when you're applying, you put near the scalp, but not on the scalp. Since I'm doing a regrowth, I'm not over demarcating the part. And the green growth retouch, the new regrowth ends from here. They are visible this way you don't apply on the scalp but near the scalp when after doing that I apply then I use the back part of the comb of the brush to section to remove the mesh and as you can see, this is the white, the black spots. So I remove it, this one. You remove, you remove the mesh. The mesh is this small amount of part of the hair. 
This is what we call the mesh. Small parting. The reason why I started from the back is because the, normally the back part is the most resistant part to process. That's why I started from the back, coming to front. Now I've done my application. You can see there is no staining at the ends. Now, and I, I, before I start my smoothening, I have to make sure that all the hair are in the same, are in the right way. The manageability of the hair and demarcation line have not stained the whole head. So that's why, before, the reason why I'm going to, when I'm, the rule whereby I have to obey or I have to follow when I'm doing the smoothening is to scrap off these parting, parting lines. Because if I do the smoothening, this side on its own, this side on its own, at the end of the process, the, the hair will be falling apart. They will be the other side will going this way and that demarcation may come as a permanent. Now I'm starting my smoothening. Smoothening, I have to ensure that there is enough relaxer on there, on my, on my tinting bowl. Now I'm doing it, I put apply on the, the nape line. I start from the nape line going to front. Ensuring that I make, I destroy completely the demarcation, the, the parting line. These black spots, I have to add more relaxant to them. We don't apply, at the beginning, we don't apply directly on the scalp because at the time we will start doing the smoothening, the scalp may have started irritating. So that's why you have to put, apply near the scalp but not on the scalp. I have to check the temperature of the water in my elbow. Now I've rinsed off my neutralizing shampoo. I, before I put my conditioner, I have to squeeze off the excess moisture. Excess moisture is the same as water. I have to squeeze them off. Then I put my condition, I do my conditioning. But this process, I'm going to do surface conditioning, which I'm going just to apply the conditioner on my hand. Though most conditioners are a bit cold, so we have to explain to my customer that there is a cold product coming to their contact. Madam, my condition is a bit cold, so you just will stand with it. You see the effect of conditioner. You can feel it's now more softer. It makes the hair more softer. And ensure that you all part of the hair of the head got the enough product. Remember, conditioners are no non-color signal. Ensure you spread to the end. From the scalp, the root, to the head. After that, you petrissage. Petrissage is a small, deep, proud movement. You start from the front, slowly. The 
then you have your raj f raj is to comb it through using your fingers to avoid tangling this one you can do the pesticide you can do for about two minutes three minutes maximum this allows the conditioner to penetrate then you rinse it off and the temperature for rinsing off the conditioner you have to ensure that it is now a bit cold or lukewarm and you keep on checking the temperature of your water or you can pour it at the back of your hand because the temperature of the back of your hand of your half finger is the same and the elbow is the same same te the, the, it's the same temperature of the scalp you lift the hair so that all the products can go back flow back but you don't scrub and so you clean even the nap line now you have to make sure that you have cleaned all there is no any traces of this product on the hair and the scalp this one you confirm by sliding your hair if you feel there are still something slippery it means there are some traces of the product in the hair now i've already conditioned my hair this is my relaxed hair and now the next step i'm proceeding is to do the styling but before i towel blot it i have to make sure that i squeeze off the excess moisture slowly but don't pull the hair just squeeze slow squeeze slowly now i'm going to towel blot the hair of my cast client After I'm blotting it, I'm taking my client to the workstation.